Hello, hi there, lovely Gemini, and welcome to your monthly forecast for April 2017. And if you're new to watching me, I'm Bella, and most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic. And how I work and how I do all my readings is I do it with the help of my spirit guides, so very different from some other people. Um, this month, um, we're going to be looking at it week by week, but also I just want to touch on that we are having a bit of an unusual occurrence astrologically in terms of we've got four four planets going retrograde. So Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, sorry not Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto all going retrograde all in this month. And it's impacting different star signs in very different ways. And for you Gemini, my guides kind of want to focus on those Geminis and, and how I do my, my love forecast, and only in a general way, but sometimes, sometimes there can be specific messages for certain Geminis that are on a certain path because of what they chose. And particularly earlier on in the year, some Geminis had to make some choices about which direction they were going in. And so this reading is really speaking to those Geminis who perhaps took the harder route. <laughs> And I say that because when we have this conjunction of planets all standing still in the sky, it really is affecting your energy more than the other aspects of Gemini's who kind of went into a different direction, basically. Um, basically, what's been shown is <sighs> isolation, if I'm being honest. So again, this is for those Gemini's who perhaps didn't choose love or didn't choose to give themselves to somebody or chose to be single and like I get isolation when it comes to romance I get here that you could have had more but you chose to put yourself first now that's not necessarily a bad thing because sometimes we have to put ourselves first and not focus too much on love and overall they're saying here that you're putting a lot of attention on the busyness of life, so work, on family, on friendships, but not necessarily giving your focus too much on love. Now, as we start the, the first week, we are still in a Venus retrograde, which normally asks us to focus on romance. But quite a lot of you, and this I think will be across the spread, not just for those who took that path, path of perhaps being single, that all of you feel like your attention is not really on love, it is on the love of other things, the love of work, on children, on self-development, and that's, again, it's not wrong, but there's like, it's almost like you're fulfilling every other aspect of your life, but not the romantic connection side. So just be aware that that is a void, basically, for you. For those of you who and you'll have to go back, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to go back to, I think it's my January um, um, forecast, where um, people had the people who were Gemini had to make a, this, this split decision, really. For those of you who did take the one where you did want to jump into a connection and did nurture that, you are fine. I get here in this month, you are little disturbed by the energy of these four planets. You're moving in the right direction. Everything is abundantly flowing. You've got newness. It is all good. This, again, I have to express... <laughs> is for those who chose isolation, chose to perhaps look at a connection that in a negative way, or perhaps in a connection that is long established, established, but you're not feeling that you're part of it. You're like almost going through the motions. And therefore, there is this void because you're focusing on filling up the other areas or the other houses of your life. But this element is and needs attention. So in that first week, you are still ignoring that, but the second week, because we go into a Mercury retrograde, it, it becomes more magnified because a Mercury retrograde will magnify the things that we, we perceive with connections in particular as not being there or not going right. And it feels to me that you start to recognise that you are moving away from matters of the heart and it's starting to make you feel quite lonely and isolated without me sounding over the top. You start to question things. You start to say, was I foolish? Did I make the wrong decision? Um how can I fix this? Should I fix this? You feel very much wrapped up in that energy. And I've been sort of telling people, some of it is an illusion, but I feel for you guys, this in particular Mercury retrograde is deliberately asking you to look at this part of your house that is not got any focus on it. And so my guides are saying here, basically, you want to see how you can right a wrong 
but you don't know how because of the isolation but also look almost looking back and thinking well, did I make a mistake was I foolish in something and then sometimes when we think that way we think it, it can't be fixed but what my guys are saying here use this time to think about it because actually it can be fixed but it has to come from within you the first thing that needs to be fixed is the way that you perceive relationships or a relationship with a certain person it needs to be reframed yes they may be doing something to contribute it yes maybe the reason you didn't get back with somebody is because of something that they was maybe you didn't start a connection because of a fear because of something else recognize it and heal it that is what is perfect particularly around the venus retrograde particularly as it comes to a close on the 16th that you are then much more aware of where the problems were so that you can fix them going forward so that that part of your house doesn't remain empty or lonely okay so then as you get to the third week i have to say again because of the mercury retrograde and i have noticed this so please please know this is the energy of the retrograde some of you may have a slump you may have a loneliness you may you may come to basically realization that you want to really really fulfill that and nurture that aspect of your life but but and i may even come to some regrets in your decisions about moving yourself away from somebody again just know that mercury is magnifying that emotion in you that anxiety in you it's magnifying your ego that's been protecting you all this time hence why you've retracted away from somebody or you've made yourself single or you've remained single is because it's trying to protect you basically from being hurt but now you're a bit you're a bit unhappy with the ego because it's making you feel low and it's making you feel isolated you know what go through that i know it doesn't feel pleasant but sometimes because we see readings like this you may see that path now and say right no i know it's the energy of that i'm not going to allow myself to get that low and that's perfect this is what readings should do in the fourth week just to give you some hope because remember this applies for those who made that decision to be isolated because all the rest of you gemini's are just fine <laughs> you know you're in good connections and you're enjoying it and it's good the fourth week you're empowered you have direction, you know your faults, because sometimes we have to hold our hands up and say, yes, I was to blame with something, as you know the direction you want to go in. You start to make plans. I have to say that a lot of these plans are in your head yet. You still haven't verbally said them out loud, but you feel much more rest assured. But also you feel much more assured in yourself that actually you are deserving of love. You're better you know, you can make good decisions, things are not going to go wrong, that actually perhaps that person just needed more from you or you need more from them. So you're going to, you've got a plan to communicate that. You have a plan, basically, you have a plan to fix this. You have a plan to reconnect. You have a plan to do whatever it is you need to do or to ask somebody to do something for you to make things better. And you know exactly how to do it and how to say it and also the when. But it feels like the when is not just yet. But the planning of it is definitely happening in that fourth week. You basically know where you're going. You have sight, you have drive, you have direction. You're not going to look back into the past. You're not going to let your ex impact you. You're not going to let old heartbreak impact you. You're not going to let emotions impact you quite in the same way that held you back from giving. So that the house of love got so empty and lonely. Basically, you want to fill it up with those different things. So for some of you who are single, been single for a long time, you'll be deciding to start to date in the following months, particularly as we get to May in particular, you'll be starting to put that right. And then as we get, to get yeah, been basically, it's just been shown that last week, you take action because then as you go into May, you align with the rest of Gemini's who made that love choice a bit earlier on in the year, you align with 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 the with with everybody else <laughs> you know you start to have a happier time i feel here this is definitely a month of self-reflection the good the bad and the ugly it's it's helped or not helped you might see by what's happening astrologically with these four planets magnifying their traits getting us to act and be and think in different ways and just know that this is all happening for your highest good to put you on track and to make sure that the lack that's in your house of love is filled up for you and that's a good thing, isn't it? So I do hope that's resonated for those of you who were supposed to see this. And I hope that you have a good and empowering April as you're intended to do so that you get to your higher self and so that you can draw loving to your life. And do know that, this is, that the decisions that you do make and how you go about it 
are perfect perfect for you because your may is going to be so much better than this month okay this is not a bad month it's an it just takes you on a journey of self-discovery and i hope that's helped i've been better and again if you've liked this do like do share do, do subscribe do comment i love to hear and again if you'd like to know more about me and my services just look below take care now bye bye